Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the second video in my HR series and it's all about HR coordinators. Before I start, I do want to say that I've actually never worked as an HR coordinator. I've worked with HR coordinators in the past and I did a lot of research. I would say half of what I will be discussing in this video is from personal experience, from working in a team with HR coordinators and also doing a lot of research on my own. So without further ado, we are just going to jump right in. All right, so first thing is first, what is an HR coordinator? So an HR coordinator is a person who oversees like 95% of the admin aspects of an HR department. They support directors, recruiters, HR managers. It's a very heavy admin role and a very supportive role. Similar to recruiters, the number of HR coordinators on a team vary depending on the size of the company and as well as the industry that they're working in. From my personal experience, an HR coordinator team can range from three coordinators to five or six coordinators, depending exactly how large is their workload. What do HR coordinators do? So HR coordinators have a lot of duties. And if I were to sit here and list absolutely everything that they had to do, I'd be here forever. So I did summarize some bullet points and just pinpointed six of the main HR coordinator duties. One of the main duties that HR coordinators do is that they contact references and they oftentimes conduct background checks for new hires. They work alongside the HR manager and the recruiters to accomplish this. HR is definitely a team effort career. You can't just not work alongside your team because it will make your HR department a living hell. They also conduct or assist with a new hire orientation. They keep and maintain all employee records along with assisting with new hire orientation before the new hire even steps foot in orientation. They make sure that the new hire is absolutely all set and all their paperwork is in and oftentimes that means that they are in contact daily with new hires making sure that they turn in all of their paperwork so they can start on time. If a new hire doesn't turn in all their paperwork then they won't be able to start on time. HR coordinators also communicate with the recruiters and the HR manager to let them know that their new hire is missing their certification or they're missing their direct deposit so then the HR manager or the recruiter can contact the hiring manager and let them know like hey this person may not start on time because they're missing their necessary paperwork so again definitely a team effort they also assist recruiters and HR managers with scheduling interviews in my last HR role I did have an HR coordinator assigned to me and other recruiters will have them like schedule their interviews for them but I really didn't like that I like to schedule my own interviews just because I know exactly what my calendar is going to look like in a week and I didn't want to overwhelm myself or just go back and forth also I personally feel like HR coordinators have so much to do that scheduling interviews is such a tedious task that I can easily take care of but I would understand if you are a recruiter or you're an HR manager and you also have a lot on your plate if you don't really want to schedule interviews again it depends on personal preference and what your leadership style is. So what are the education requirements to become an HR coordinator? So typically for an HR coordinator role you are required to have a bachelor's degree. It doesn't have to be specifically in HR it can be in psychology, sociology, communication, business. Most companies do require a bachelor's degree. Some companies, however, will hire someone with years and years of experience who doesn't have a bachelor's degree. They may just have a high school diploma, but they have so many years of experience that that experience is so valuable to a company that they will oftentimes overlook not oftentimes, sometimes they will overlook the fact that that person doesn't have a bachelor's degree. With that being said, I do think a HR coordinator role is a great starting point for your HR career, especially if you graduate from college and you don't really have a lot of work experience. As an HR coordinator, you have access to so many different types of business professionals in the HR department. You have access to director, you have access to the recruiter, the HR manager, the business partners, payroll. So you can really communicate and network with those people and, and eventually when you are ready to move up within the company, you already have those connections in place and they can vouch for you and say, 
yes, it's been a pleasure working with this person. They definitely deserve to get promoted. They de definitely have proven themselves in the HR coordinator role and are ready to go on to the next best thing. So although the task can seem tedious and boring and a lot of paperwork, a lot of admin, it's a great starting point if you have absolutely no experience within the HR field. Salary expectations. According to the ZipRecruiter website and a fair warning, I forgot to mention this in my recruiter video. There are websites like ZipRecruiter, Indeed, Glassdoor, Salary.com that oftentimes give you an estimate of a given role's salary. I have found that 99% of the time those salaries listed on those websites are way more than you will actually get paid if you were to enter that field within your state. I don't know where they get all their information from or all their statistics, but a lot of those numbers tend to be inflated. And oftentimes I have gotten candidates in the past that are like, well, I went on salary.com and I saw that the average national salary is like 80 grand and the salary that you're offering me is way below that. So I can't take the job. And I have to explain to them that that salary is not an accurate representation of the current market. The best way for you to determine what a certain job role pays is to apply, interview, and ask that question in your interview. With that out of the way, the national average salary according to ZipRecruiter for an HR coordinator is $43,858 a year, which translates to $21 an hour. So from my personal experience and from working with HR coordinators, a lot of the HR coordinators, if not all, have all gotten paid an hourly wage. It's very rare for an HR coordinator to get a salaried wage. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does happen, of course. But most HR coordinators that I've worked with have had an hourly wage wage. From my personal experience, HR coordinators get paid the least in an HR department. They get paid less than HR managers, obviously, and they get paid less than recruiters. From my personal experience, living in Boston, Massachusetts, HR coordinators tend to earn anywhere from $16 an hour to $25 an hour. Obviously, the people who are earning $25 an hour have years of experience, and the ones earning less than that may not have as many years of experience under their belt. And again, this will vary based on the industry that you work in and the size of your company along with the educational degrees that you may have. There are directors of HR coordinators that get paid six figures, uh, but obviously it takes years to get to that role, maybe like a master's degree to get to that role. So don't think you're going to make six figures working as an HR coordinator because it's not going to happen unless you get to that manager or director role. All right, so now the fun part pros and cons of being an HR coordinator. There are so many planes passing by today, like it needs to chill out. Some of the pros of working as an HR coordinator are, if you like routine and love paperwork, I don't know who loves paperwork, some people do, then this is the role for you. The day-to-day -day activities of an HR coordinator pretty much stay the same. I mean, there's some days that you may be focusing, I have a hair, there may be some days where you are focusing on orientation, other days you may be focusing on scheduling interviews, running background checks, but pretty much your duties stay the same and it can become very tedious and very boring quickly. But um, if you like routine and you enjoy doing paperwork, then this is the role for you. Oftentimes it is a Monday to Friday schedule. You have weekends off. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a great way to start your HR career and to gain lots of experience so you can really move into any other HR role or position that you want. It's not really a competitive role. The job itself is pretty straightforward. Unless you're competing for a HR director role, there isn't really much competition within that department of HR. It's pretty straightforward. You go in to do your job and then once you're done, you leave for the day. And then there's also a lot of room for growth. Like I mentioned earlier as well, you have the opportunity to grow within a company in that HR department. So you can go become a recruiter, you can go into payroll, compensation, employee relations. So there is a lot of potential for 
room for growth if you want it and if you work for it. So now for the cons. Oftentimes, the pay can be fairly low for the amount of work that is expected from you. That is why I think it's a great role to start your HR career in post-grad, but I wouldn't stay in that HR coordinator role for 10 years or more unless you want to become the director of the HR coordinator department or you have other plans in mind where you want to stay as an HR coordinator, there's nothing wrong with that, then more power to you. And with this role, there is a lot of pressure. As an HR coordinator, you are handling so many different hats at one time. You are supporting sometimes two or three different people and they're all asking you for help. So it can get super overwhelming and there is pressure in this role. So if you are someone that doesn't handle pressure well, or you are someone that doesn't like a fast paced environment then the HR coordinator role is not for you not to say that there aren't slow periods or slow days because there definitely are but a lot of the times you are running around trying to get things done and with that sometimes you are working overtime especially near orientation weeks or um, when you have a huge project assigned to you so you have to be prepared to put in long hours not to the point where you don't have a work-life balance you shouldn't be working 12 hour days every single day as an HR coordinator but there might be days where you have to stay past five and work maybe like a nine or ten hour shift if you guys have any other questions of something that maybe I didn't address in this video definitely let me know in the comments below I love hearing feedback from you guys I love when people that work in HR find my videos or you guys tell me that you landed a job by following my advice and you're excited about starting your HR career I love hearing all of that so if you have any questions any comments any stories you would like to share definitely let me know in the comments below I try my best to respond to each and every one of you guys guys even if I'm a little late and if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in more HR videos definitely hit the subscribe button I don't only upload HR videos I do vlogs I do fashion lifestyle all that good stuff so if that is your thing definitely hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys